DeMello is the director of Georgia Tech's Center for 21st Century Universities and the author of Revolution in Higher Education, How a Small Band of Innovators Will Make College Accessible and Affordable. You've organized the book around the ideas of affordability, accessibility, and achievement. And let's, let's start out talking about affordability. So the, affor the affordability piece of the, of the puzzle is maybe the easiest to, to understand. And, and when I talk to people about it, if I, if I have a chart to show, it's usually a chart that shows the, um, uh, the rise in, in tuition uh, over the last 25 years versus family income. I mean, every, 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 everyone shows, everyone shows uh, in, uh, increasing tuition versus consumer price index or relative to health care. Or, or what, what, what people actually don't look at is, is the wedge that's being driven between the cost of a college diploma and what the average American family can afford to pay for. Uh, and, and, and that, to me, just screams not sustainable. Uh, I've, I've looked for, for other things that correlate uh, with, with, um, uh, with the increases that, that public universities are charging uh, students for, for tuition. And, and the only thing that it correlates to uh, is, is the, um, uh, the increase in income of the top 1% of, of wage earners. So, okay. so, so this is a problem uh, because, because it, it, it has never been the intention, at least since since the 1860s, it has never been the intention in the United States that higher education uh, uh, or post-secondary education in general be a service that's available to only the people that can afford to pay for it. And by the way, the people that can afford to pay for it are the people who have deep enough pockets to, to pay for it. Uh, that's, that's an issue that is very hard for, for people to, to face. Whatever else you think about what's going on in higher education, you do have this insolvable problem uh, that, 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 that prices are going up, uh, and they're going up for almost everyone. And, and they're going up uh, because costs are going up. So this, I mean, this is, this is the, 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 vicious, the vicious circle in, in higher education. You can think what you want about whether public universities are, are doing a good job at, 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 at getting financial aid for students or whether the, the Obama administration has done a good job uh, at, at talking about um, uh, making loans um, more transparent and more, and more available. None of that matters if fundamentally what you're doing is going to cost 10% more next year than it does, than it does this year. Uh, because all those other measures will get swamped up in the, in the process. Macroeconomic forces that you have no control over. Sure. Uh, and they're going to continue to rise until you find a way of improving productivity. So, so, so you, you, have to, you have to find a way of, of either making an individual faculty member more productive in, in, in the reach and the outcome um, of, 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 of a class, let's say, uh, or you have to find faster ways for students who are paying semester by semester increasing tuition through through a program, you have to get more productive about about the way that you approach approach students. And it, there are a lot of ways that you might imagine to be productive. The only thing that makes sense is to is to is to infuse technology into the delivery mechanism to enable individual professors, individual institutions to approach students in a more efficient, inefficient way. People that, 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 make, that make basically subsistence wage uh, that, that, that would, have to, would have to otherwise um, fund their kids' college education in unacceptable, unacceptable ways. Um, you can solve that problem completely. But if those high school students, if those middle school students never get contact with the idea that there is an education available to them that they that they can afford, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, one of the one of the insights that I had in, in, in writing this this current book was 
peeling back the layers of, of, of success. So, so what, what does it mean to be successful in college? People look at all these predictors of, of, of success. One of, the, one of the things that jumps out at you is the importance of aspiration. So, so where you apply to college is, is a huge predictor of your, of your long-term success. Oh, yeah. And, and, I noticed that one. And, and if, you, if, if you don't know, yeah. if, you, if, if, if you don't know that, that, that I can get yeah. a first-rate technical education uh, at, at, at Caltech or Georgia Tech or, uh, or, or New Jersey Tech, whatever it, it, it turns out to be, then all the affordability measures in the world don't, don't matter because you never cross, cross that, um, that, that threshold. Um, and, and, so, and so access turns out to be this piece that even if you solve the, the affordability part of the equation, unless you address it completely, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So by achievement, I mean attainment. Uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it, it's not enough to have, to have an accessible, affordable educational experience if at the end of the day you don't actually learn something. Um, for, for obvious reasons, I think. Um, but, but the idea that, that, that we would offer uh, a lesser quality uh, education to people depending on their ability to pay is not within the social contract that we have in, in, right. in, in this country. So, so whenever we think about these things, whenever we think about improving productivity so that you make things more affordable, um, improving uh, Im improving access uh, to high quality materials uh, at all stages of, of of education. You have to ask yourself why, and 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 without without being able to measure how well people do as a result of it, and and in terms that in terms that matter. I'm not talking about terms that matter to accreditors. I'm not talking, you know, about 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 skills assessment. I'm actually talking about how well do we understand the learning that took right. place in that, in that experience, Th then you haven't completed the cycle. And if you, if you step back still further from, from that equation, uh, there has to be structural change. You cannot get out of the bind that we're in without making fundamental changes in the business of running, running a university. Affordability, access, and achievement are the beginning of the conversation. In part two, Rich talks about the revolutionaries that are changing higher education. Part three concerns the need to reaffirm the social contract on which American colleges and universities are founded.